Hi guys, this is my um, uh, setup video of the Easy Grabber 2, um, and uh, I'll be showing you how to uh, set it up. And um, further on in this video, I'll do a tutorial on my Mac. So, uh, what you want to do is um, preferably you want to be using the uh, S video, um, but for now. I don't have a, um, I do not have a uh, S video cable. I only have the composite ones, so I'll just have to do with this now. But I'll have a um, separate video when I get my Easy Cap and not this Easy Grabber um, uh, DC60, which I can hopefully use with my Mac uh, using Easy Cap Viewer. Uh, that will be covered in a separate video of my setup, and um, so. Uh, in this video I'll just show you how to connect it using the composite cables so what you want to do is you want to have your easy grabber 2 here and what you want to do is just straighten this out a bit and uh, just just for this just for me I'm, I'm just gonna leave that out because as I said I don't have the S video cable at the moment and uh, so you want to get your PlayStation 3 um, uh, RCA cable and you would you want to uh, plug in the red to red, yellow to yellow, and white to white. And then, once you're all set up, you just need to plug this into the end of your computer. And uh, plug this into the end of your PS3. And, uh, lay and uh, in a moment... I'll be uh, cutting this video and showing you how to uh, how to change the settings on uh, the uh, PS3. Hi guys, um, as I said in my uh, video, um, well in the other part, um, I'll be showing you how to um, how to uh, set up the uh, MyGCA Easy Grabber 2 um, on the PS3, and uh, here are the display settings. So for this part, I'm going to be showing you the display settings for the Magic Cat Easy Grabber 2. Um, after you plug it in, plug the uh, USB into the computer, and run the software and everything, um, you need to change the uh, display output settings. And uh, this is what you need to display out to. Well, obviously you can't display to, uh, as you can see there, 1080i or 1080p because they um, are not supported as well as HDMI and because you're going to be uh, you're going to be um, uh, as you can see you're going to be um, recording um, not in HD but in 480p at most um, you're going to need to change to the composite forward slash S video or a AV multi multing scar so what's going to be happening is if uh, you if you're going to be um, using the uh, S video cable, then uh, go to S video composite and S video, and um, just uh, go right, and you'll be greeted with this. Where it says press the X button, the screen will be displayed based on this setting. If the setting is not correct, the screen will go blank temporarily. Then after 30 seconds the system will go back to the previous screen and all you need to do is just press change and then hopefully it will show up on your, um, on your computer. But if you are using the, the PlayStation cable with the composite cables and the red, white and yellow, um, as you plug it into the uh, SCAR adapter, um, all you have to do is just go to there and then either select the first one second one. Now uh, I really do not know what the difference is but it doesn't really matter um, but I think uh, RGB would turn out about so just let's say it'll, t it'll bring back the same screen and the uh, same for this one and uh, this if you're using the uh, PS3 cable and not the S-Video. So uh, yeah that's how to change your um, display output settings so uh, catch you guys later. Peace.